guys, it's Jessie V. Is it weird that I say that every single time? Every single video? Like, what if one day I just completely switched it up? What if I was like, yo, it's Tom? Wouldn't that be weird? Like, I say that every single time. Hey, it's Jessie V. You guys should know me by now. Do I really need to keep doing that intro? I think so. I love doing that intro. So today I have a story time for you guys. As you can tell, I am having a pretty good day. So I'm sitting down here and I'm filming a few videos. I am also wearing a choker necklace with a planet on it, a sparkly planet. I love this thing. And then I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this rainbow shirt before. I love it. I love it so much. So I have this feeling that I have briefly mentioned this story in the past, very briefly, but I don't think I've ever made a full story time video on it. It's really hard to keep track anymore, guys. Like I have made, I think almost 400 videos. Wait, no, almost 300. How many have I made? That's a good thing to look up right now. I'm actually quite curious. Somebody is making tea upstairs. I can hear the kettle. It's so weird. Whenever I'm not filming, the house is quiet. Everyone's upstairs in their bedrooms. But the second I film, the second I walk down into this basement to film, everybody does things. They make food. They stomp around in their shoes. The dogs start barking. It's like, th no one respects my filming time. Okay, I was right. I have almost made 400 videos. I am at 395, guys. That's a lot of videos, okay? That's a lot of things to remember. So if I'm repeating story times, I I don't even know, but I don't, I honestly don't think I'm repeating this one. If anything, I've mentioned it like in a two second story. That's it. And the title of the story time must have freaked you out a bit. Like, someone was throwing rocks at you, Jesse? Rocks? Yeah, I know, violent. Seriously, violent. And I should be serious right now because it was a serious time. It was not fun. So back when I was in grade eight, I didn't have a lot of friends. I'm pretty sure I've brought this up before. I was a very shy kid. I kept to myself. I was anxious all the time. I have like one or two friends. But one day I made friends with a girl on my bus, which was awesome because every day after school I'd sit beside her. We would talk. We would catch up on homework. It was just a fun bus ride home with this girl that I sat with. Let's call her... Shania? No, I'll just think of Shania Twain. Sheila? Shannon. Shannon. We're gonna go with Shannon. So everything was fine with Shannon for the first, like, month. The first month of our friendship was wonderful. It was great. And then one day I missed school because I was sick and I forgot to text Shannon to tell her that I would not be on the bus ride home or to school. Which meant that she had to ride the bus on her own and I just, I just forgot to text her. It just didn't cross my mind. I was sick. So the next day I go to school and she walks up to me and she's like, Did you forget about something yesterday? Did you forget? And I was so casual about it. I was like, oh yeah, sorry, I was sick yesterday. I couldn't come on the bus with you. And she was so offended. She was just so mind-blowingly offended. She was like, well, I'm glad I matter to you. I'm glad I matter. Our friendship is over. It's done. No more bus buddies. Okay, done. We're done. All right, bye. And I was just standing there so confused. I had no idea what just happened. Was I not allowed to be sick? Like, I just didn't understand. I didn't get it. So we just went back to sitting in separate seats on the bus home. I had no more bus buddy. I was by myself. But honestly, I'm a super independent person. It really doesn't bother me that much. But it, I mean, it really affected her because whenever I'd look in the bus where she was sitting, she'd be there like, <laughs> whatever. I don't care that you're not here. I don't care that I'm sitting alone. Like she looked like she did not want to be in that seat by herself. And I was over here like, well, it's your problem. You decided to end our friendship, okay? You know when you're kids and like the smallest things end a friendship? It's just silly. It's just silly to look back on. But one thing that is important to this story that I forgot to mention is this girl, my uh, ex bus buddy, she was my next door neighbor. So I made things really awkward when we got to the bus stop in my neighborhood because we literally basically had to walk beside each other home because we went home in the same direction, right? So it's not like we got off the bus and said goodbye and never had to talk to each other. We had to like walk in the same direction. So I remember walking home this one day after we had our fight and the entire walk home, she was like this close to my face just yelling at me, yelling at me the entire walk home. She was calling me names, my ears. She was hurting my ears. And I remember telling her like, please just leave me alone. I just want to get home. I'm sorry. Just please go away. And she wouldn't listen to me. And honestly, I mean, she was acting like a huge bully and it was not good. It was not a good situation. And I'm not over exaggerating. Her mouth was right here. It was in my ear. It was like in my, okay, that, that's an over exaggeration. That, I lied. Her mouth, she was just close, okay? Her face was just really close to me. So she was like spitting and it was loud and like she was just yelling. Too much yelling. And I think she was getting more and more frustrated because I wasn't really yelling back at her. I was trying to ignore her, trying to get away from her. So I finally got home. I got inside my house and I was like, oh, 
Thank goodness that is over with. I told my mom, I was like, listen, this girl, our next door neighbor, she's bothering me the whole walk home. And my mom was like, just let me know if she does that again and I will talk to your teacher and blah, blah, blah. So that evening, my sister and I decided to go into our backyard because we used to have this play set in our backyard and there were swings on it and like a slide. And I know what you're probably wondering, why Jesse, in grade eight, you were like 12, why were you still on a play set? Well, my answer is I... <laughs> have no idea. You guys know I'm weird. You guys know I'm weird, okay? So, my sister and I are both on the swings, just swinging back and forth, talking about our days, when suddenly, the back of Mandy's shoulder starts hurting, and she was like, Jess, I think something just hit the back of my shoulder. And I was like, oh, it was probably nothing. Maybe like a bumblebee flew into your back and like bounced off, and now it's dead. Like, you're probably fine. So she was like, okay, yeah. It was probably nothing. So we keep swinging and we're talking and talking and all of a sudden I feel something hit the back of my neck and it's just something small. And I was like, what the heck? Are we being attacked by bumblebees or something? Like what's going on over here? And I just couldn't understand what we were being hit by. And that is when I got this horrible pain in my back. Something large flew right into like my spine. So I jump off the swing and I turn around and I see that on the grass there's this giant rock. And I was still confused. I was like, are there... Are there rocks falling from the sky? Like, what? what's going on? And that's when I hear giggling. And behind my neighbor's fence, you can kind of see these eyes peering through the little, like, slit areas in the fence. And right away, I knew it was Shannon and her little brothers. And my sister Mandy is a very vocal person. When she's mad, everybody knows about it. So, of course, she starts yelling at them. She's like, why in the heck are you guys throwing rocks at us? Get away! Stop throwing rocks at us! And I was just, I mean, I was quiet. I was so confused. I was standing there in shock. And what do these kids do? They don't stop. No. Why would they stop, right? Like, why would they try being respectful human beings? They just pick up more rocks, and these rocks were, like, dangerously large. They were probably about that big, and when this size rock is being flung at your head and your back, that is, like, you can kill somebody doing that. All jokes aside in the story time video, that is severely violent and dangerous. I just remember all parts of my back being hit by these stones, like, my chest. I think I got one to, like, the side of my cheek. Like, we were just being pelted by these giant rocks. So, of course, we run inside and we tell my parents and right away they're really scared. My dad runs outside and he's like, what are you doing? Why are you guys doing that? And they're still just laughing. So my dad ends up calling the police, which I mean, is probably a rational thing to do in this situation because it's kind of weird for a grown adult to yell at other people's kids. And it's, it's super violent, like I said. So we called the cops and the cop went to talk to the kid's parents, I believe. And after that, there was no more rock throwing, but that was a very, that was just not a good time. And this was all because I missed a day of school because I was sick because I was sick and I couldn't go to class like what? what so Shannon never bothered me on the walk home anymore we never had rocks thrown at us anymore the only thing that Shannon did and it was really really creepy at night I could see kind of into their house because all of their lights would be on and in Shannon's room she would wait in front of her window until I entered my bedroom and when she saw me in my room she would look through her window and just do this and just like stand there and wave at me like this and I would just kind of see her shadow in her window doing this and like I would always just like close my curtains and I was like what the heck this girl is crazy this girl's crazy but yeah I don't know that's this is the end of the story time I just thought about this yesterday because I was sitting in the hot tub in my backyard and I was thinking like remember when we had like a play set back here and then the memory just like flooded back to me it was horrible but yeah I hope you guys did enjoy this story time and have an awesome rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video okay bye